Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Marauder X here, back with more Let's Play Sonic Mania. We are in Flying Battery Zone. It has returned. Uh, one of the uh, one of the zones that has been remade for Sonic Mania. <laughs> that was that was fantastically timed. Thank you, Spring Launcher. This zone first made its appearance in Sonic and Knuckles, or Sonic 3 and Knuckles, depending on if you want to count them as one game, or, you know, uh, two games that could link together. I always consider them really one game. Like, I thought they were two games growing, and like, no, they're the, it, the story is all interconnected, it's all one big thing. Uh, Flying Battery Zone was the second level of Sonic and & Knuckles, and the eighth level of Sonic 3 & Knuckles. So I consider it the eighth level of, of Sonic 3 & Knuckles, because, yeah. Uh, this version, more, more connected to Flying Battery Zone, uh, it does take a couple of elements from other uh, aerial zones in... Uh, Sonic games, so uh, one of them coming up right here. These floaty things, they were uh, from Wing Fortress in Sonic 2. Those, where you can just kind of spin around. Uh, there's a blue ring down there. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna risk it for the blue ring. It's not worth it on these stages. <laughs> um, I do have the fire shield, which makes me a god. Your fire cannot touch me, puny mortals. I also love Sonic looking up. I don't think I've discussed it. Like, he looks so curious. Like, oh, what could that be? Is that a shooting star? Not, I am a god. All right, so uh, I want to actually go down here, but I can't because one thing they did is made the collision on these things so much better so that you don't, you know, just fall through them randomly. We've got some, some of these that, you know, provide... Uh, rings instead of, uh, oh, hey, um, yes, I want this. Uh, can I actually? Yes, I can, and screw up completely on my way there. All right. Yeah, that's not actually what I had intended to do, but hey, we get another shield because this is where we want the shield. This is actually another gimmick as well, borrowed from Wacky Workbench. It, if you have the lightning shield, you will stick to these electrified surfaces. Ah, son of a bitch. Well, I screwed that up. Hopefully there's another electric shield, because I kind of need one in order to show off what I want to show off. And, yeah, I am i don't care about taking hits. Don't care. Don't care. We're, we're going this way. Outside, we get to play with the propellers again, just like the first time we were here. Kill tails on the landmines, that's fun. We've got more of these, just gonna pass through them. Hit that, and we will go down this way. We're gonna go over this way, and not hit that one because I always hit that one. Get some invincibility run through the spiked balls like they're not there anymore, which makes me question the physics. And we're at this point, which I died a lot during the live stream because you can get crushed by those things. So be careful. That's a, that's a thing that happens. And now we're done with that. We're going to keep running through those. Fall down here. For a stage that is more about platforming, you can get some decent speed here. Alright. We are coming up on not one, but two giant rings. And I have to be very careful in order to not screw it up. So over here, there is a, a lightning shield that I want to get. Yeah, I'm waiting for this to go down. Yes, Tails. There we go. And hey, one up. So, 
we can go... over here, and I'm, I'm going to do this as cautiously as possible. We can go over here, and there is a giant ring in this tube. I'm not going to go in it because I don't need to, but I do want to show off the giant ring. And then there is another giant ring. Oh, ho. Oh. I, don't, I don't need the lightning shield for this other giant ring. So, I need to blow that up, and then I've already gotten it somehow, and that fell down. That's weird. So, yeah. There's there's spikes you have to push, and it will fall down. So, yeah. Two giant rings that I am losing all of my rings to. Oh, I can jump up. I can just jump up there? I thought I had to get up here to do this. And then one neat thing is you can... We can stand on spikes. This is actually one of the first times I think you can stand on the side of spikes. So, neat things all around. And much like the last time we were here, Robotnik has a trap for us. But this time it's different. Alright, so... Um, there's two ways you can do this. Uh, if you've got tails, you can use tails to attack it. Uh, like that. If it's just Sonic, uh, you have to wait until the trash piles up high enough for you to, uh, to, to jump into it, but yeah. The trash itself is also a reference. There are a ton of, ton of bad guys in it. It's uh, the Motobug, Chopper, Burrowbot, and Splats, as well as some broken TVs and broken uh, signposts. So that's another fun reference. So yeah. Also, the uh, the lightning shield being able to walk on things on the the electrified panels. That's also apparently from the Death Egg Zone. I don't. I don't want to. I do not want to take the lower path. I want to take the upper path. There's another ring, another giant ring you can get taking the lower path, but I hate dealing with the lower path, and I'm trying to not have to do that. But, okay, that was weird. So I'm going to go this way and not show off a third giant ring, but it's there. So I'm going to go this way. And we're going to go outside. This is actually part that I really enjoyed, is going inside and out of uh, the flying battery zone like this. Because it's all very... Uh... All right, I got to wait. There's something else there. There we go. We're going to hop on that one. We're going to hop on that and then miss it. But I think we're... I think we're going where we need to go. And... Go back up. Kill you, because you're shooting eggs at me. You're also from a previous Sonic game. I forget which one. I think you were Sonic 2. And more propeller. Hopping. Going around here. Not... I, I do not have my fire shield, so I'm not a god at the moment. So, that's something to keep in mind. Whee! Flying there, and... That's just, like, that's not fair. All right, we're going to go down this way now. And get another one up. Because I, I know I'm going to die in this zone at least once. It's, it's just, it's a thing that happens. And, hey, another one up. That's, that's fabulous. And we're back outside. And I don't remember where I'm going from here on out. So, this will be fun. And I think I need to go over here. And ride that up. If it's not where I'm supposed to go, then I'm going the wrong way. But I'm just going to keep going. 
I am not entirely familiar with this zone. I I I remember more of the the original uh, flying battery zone than the Mania version. So that's a thing to keep in mind that I am not a uh, oh hey another another I didn't actually mean to do that. So hey. Another ring. So that's three for Flying Battery Zone. So hopefully by now, you have uh, encountered enough to where you have got all of the, the Chaos Emeralds by now. Hopefully. Alright, so go back there. So... And I should... What I should be doing is this... Because those were from Sonic 3 and Knuckles as well, I believe. Alright, uh, we're going to go this way. And... Oh, I was really worried that I was going to get hit by those eggs. And I don't know if I'm going the right way. I don't think I am. Alright, you... Tails killed you. Okay, good. Alright, do we, we go in here? And... I don't know what's happening. I, I have no idea what's happening. Where am I going? What is happening? Alright. Really? Okay. We're at least making it somewhere. I just want to make it to the boss. I just want to be done. I feel like this zone has taken way too long. It, it hasn't. It just it feels so much longer because I guess I don't know where I'm going. So, of course. You and your cheap shot. Alright, we are in one of these things now, and we're back inside. That's fine. I would rather be back inside. I don't want to fall through the trash. Because I don't know where the trash is supposed to take me. And... I was like, are we at the boss? No, no, we are still in the zone. In the zone proper. Okay. Okay. There we go. Where are we going? And I I don't remember this part. This is fun. Okay. Cuz there's a lot of spikes that I have to dodge and I'm flying through the air through ca canals. That is totally um from Sonic 1. Wee. And there is wind in this section that's slowly pushing you to the left so keep that in mind and however we can fight it and go this way I'm just I don't I what is what is happening the speed <laughs> oh that was and I missed a whole bunch of stuff down there but it happens, and we are... I knew there was a spike on that one. I saw it a second ago. Trying to get me. All right, we're at the boss. This is fantastic. And this boss... is a kind of pain in the ass. Because... What you have to do is you have to knock him into the spikes. And uh, in order to do that, you have to dodge his attacks. And... Use that and I am now screwed. I'm going to die. However, he can't hurt you himself, but, you know, 
See, I, I kind of knew I was going to die there. All right. Let's do it right this time. But this is, this is neat because this is one of those bosses that's not your traditional Sonic boss. Son of a bitch. And there, he does have some weird frames of invincibility. I just, I need to keep one, one ring to rule them all. And son of a bitch. I'm like, I saw that one coming. It's like, I can get crushed by those. And I'm, yeah. So yeah, this is where I'm, I knew I was going to screw up. I, I loathe this boss with a passion. And I want to get under him so I can get over here. Oh no, I was on the wrong one. I need to get over here. And screw that up. All right, you just kind of stay where you're at and... Ah, son of a bitch, too soon. All right, so now there's a section of multiple spikes on either side, so I've got to be careful about that. You're going to try to hit me with the lightning balls. That's where I need to go on this side now, and I missed him. I missed him completely. Thank you, Robotnik, for being an asshole. And... I didn't hit him and missed the ring, and I'm going to die again. Oh, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. so close. It's the physics that gets me. There we go. Didn't get him again. All right, where do I need to go? Need to be on this side. Not get struck by the lightning. And hit. And, oh, got two on that one. Fantastic. I might not die. I'm going to die. I know I'm going to die. I know I'm going to die. Yep. Yeah. Oh, God, I hate this boss. This is why I was like, yay, extra lives. It's... This, I have to say, is probably Robotnik's most clever contraption. Son of a bitch, really? Yeah, I'm... Yeah, this is going to be a thing. This is going to be a thing. Oh. I may just cut this until I get to a, a fight where I actually win against him, because holy crap. All right. There we go. One hit. Two hits. We got two hits. We've got three rings. Didn't. We've got three hits and three rings. I'm going to start counting the number of hits. Because, uh... You're being an ass. Alright. So we've got three hits and two rings. And... Four hits. Four hits and two rings. Gotta keep... <sighs> it's when I overshoot that it kills me. Oh, thank you, Tails, for grabbing that before it went away. That's... Yeah, I, this, this is the boss that I hate the most out of this game. There we go! And hey, I got a one-up. How did I beat him that way and not the other? Uh, I could have swore I got more hits on him before. But anyway, we did it! We have beaten Flying Battery Zone again. It's only taken me four attempts at beating that boss. Oh my god, I hate this boss so much. Alright, and we're going to move to Press Garden Zone. Uh, so I will see you all in the next installment where we will take on Press Garden, which is a new zone. So uh, till then, later everyone.